Happening today, students and teachers in Henry County now have to wear masks indoors while at school. The decision on the policy reversal just hours ago during a really intense school board meeting. This is our top story this morning as the heated mask mandate debate continues, even as COVID cases spike at the start of the new school year. Mari Sirianni joins us live outside Fairview Elementary in Stockbridge with more on the policy and reaction from parents. Tense moments last night, Aisha, at that school board meeting. And now as kids walk into Henry County Schools this morning, like this one here, this is Fairview Elementary, they will need to wear a mask. And Henry County, just the latest Metro Atlanta district to implement a mask mandate like this. So it was fireworks last night, as we mentioned, at that meeting. Uh, you could say things escalated quickly between parents there. Um, and it was tense as the board ultimately decided that requiring masks for students and staff indoors is the best way to keep everyone safe. This is cases in hospitals hospitalization spike due to the Delta variant in Henry County Schools. Data shows more than 400 students and staff members are in quarantine after just one week back to the classroom. We caught up with parents and asked them how they feel. I would say if it's enforced and if it's taken seriously, yes, we do feel a little more comfortable. We were hoping the school board would recognize the fact that it should be the parents choice whether to muzzle our children or not. And last we spoke with the superintendent out here in Henry County. She told us that they made that initial um, mass optional decision based on the numbers and what they saw over the summer and their summer school programs. But of course, things are changing now as we enter into the second week here of school in Henry County. Again, Aisha, this morning, masks, masks are going to be mandatory. All right, Mara, thank you. Griffin Spalding County school system is also changing its mask policy because of a recent increase and COVID cases. This is happening because people are getting sick. They're in the hospital and people are dying at an alarming rate. Students and staff will have to mask up on campuses, buses, and at district offices. Superintendent Keith Simmons says he knows not everyone will like the change, but it's all in an effort to keep kids in the classroom learning and hopefully a short-term action to achieve a long-term goal. The mask mandate is in effect immediately. So the mask in school debate, it doesn't stop with parents. Governor Kemp is also weighing in on the decision. Mm -hmm. Francesca Amaker joining me now with details on what the governor is saying this morning as more students return to the classroom. Yeah, I'm going to let you decipher what he's saying, folks. The governor says he feels like at this point there's just a lot of mixed messages and that that mandate isn't going to work. But he also says that he trusts local officials will do the right thing. Take a listen. In my conversations with school board members like Nick Ellis, with Superintendent Kelly and other superintendents around the state, I trust that these local leaders are going to listen and work with their parents to figure out what is best for their children at the local level. Now, Kemp says every school is different when it comes to scenarios for COVID cases and that format of each day of each school day. Now, whether you're wearing a mask or not, there's still a need to get more Georgians vaccinated. This week, Atlanta Public Schools is offering Pfizer doses to eligible students and staff. It's happening at all APS middle and high schools this week for anyone at least 12 years old. Parents will have to sign a consent form. Second doses will be given the week of August 30th.